Hello lovelies and welcome back to the second half of the Our Tree spread. This is the 6x8 side of the double page spread that I promised when I put the video up. So basically if you haven't catched, catched or if you haven't caught that video, it's um, a pocket page in my December Daily um, album. It is before day one of us putting our tree up in the last weekend of November. And this is the other side. I did a pocket page on the right hand really side and this light, is a six by eight photo snow. on the left hand side. And this is also Everywhere going to be the back of my front go. cover. So this is just a picture of my boys Take in front of the fi ten. finished tree. And I wanted again. to scrap it almost and full size on a six by eight um, pocket basically. I keep it very simple, it's a very quick layout. Obviously because of the size, there's not really a lot you can do on a 6x8 um, layout, and I can't anyway. So all I'm doing, when I fish underneath my mat like that, I'm generally going for some white cardstock. I stash all my white um, cardstock off cuts underneath my craft mat. One, so they're easy and um, close at hand. And two, because if I try and put them anywhere else, they'll probably just end up in the bin. And I always use white cardstock. As you can see, I have pieces big enough to mat photos. And um, I also use a lot to cut strips into my journaling. So I grabbed this gold doily, and obviously it wasn't quite big enough to go under the photo and reach both sides. So I just cut it in half and put it on uh, either side of the photo. It takes a few minutes for me to line it up, as bad as that sounds. But when I glue it down, I want to make sure that it's even. And that's a good little trick to um, you know, make your supplies work for you, I guess. Obviously it wasn't going to be big enough, but it looked really pretty. So I just cut it in half and, yeah, tuck it under the sides. And you can't tell that it doesn't reach the whole way. Oh, there's my fluffy hair. If you watched the last video, you would have heard me apologise profusely for my fluffy hair. I um, have very short, very curly hair, and when I wash it, this is what you get. And I do try and keep it out of my videos, but as you can see, it made it in. So I really apologize for that. So when I finally get this lined up and fairly even, I'm going to get my gold Heidi Swap Color Shine, give it a good shake, because you know you have to shake it really well or you get those lovely oil rings, and then just splatter it down. But I know I want some big splats as well, so I fake it. And just dab it with the, the end of the nozzle. I'm too impatient to wait for it to dry naturally, so I get my um, paper towel and just um, sop it up. There's my head again. Why is my head in these videos so much? It, nev it never usually is. It must be something with the camera angle. I've got to work on that. So just attaching it all down now, making sure I haven't ruined my photo, which I do. Oh look, there's a sequin, a random sequin there. Um, I'm, I'm loving um, Tiny Word stickers and I love when they're themed like these Christmas ones. Although, oh, I don't know what it must be. I don't know if it's me, if it's my set, but they're not very good in the sticky sense they um either take the backing off with it or the the sticky doesn't come off it's, oh, it's a pain in the butt but you know we make do it works for me so i've just got two of those one says the magic of christmas and the other says it's the most wonderful time of year and then of course adding some sequins and some bling because i can't do a layout in my december daily without them and I think that might actually be it for the layout. Like I said, keeping it really nice and simple, nice and quick. But I like the way it looks. It looks really, really good in the album. And obviously the main focus is the photo. With those reds and that blue of the war and that pop of gold. I'm loving the grey background paper. I think it's really good to have these pops of gold coming off such a nice neutral background. So once I finish with my last few finishing touches, that's going to be it for the layout. At the end of this video, I do put it in my album so you can see the two spreads together and see how it looks. But yeah, that's it for the layout. Nice and quick and easy. Nice and, you know, simple, I guess. And um, yeah, that's our tree documented. So I hope you've liked the series so far. I know it's been fairly random when a video comes up. I, am, I do aim for at least every two days. Um, but coming into the but week the of Christmas, I have pre-recorded a few videos, so I will be back tomorrow with a new video. So come on by and stay tuned for that. See you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.